Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to do a quick demo of Chrome Enterprise Premium. Um, so today for the demo, we will be using Cameo to uh, show two different devices here in the same browser. So the green browser here that I'm currently syncing will be the one that will be the managed browser. And uh, we'll be able to see that those policies are synced. So we have machine policies as well as user policies now that that user is logged in. On the unmanaged device, I'll actually log in to show you that flow. So here's the, um, we're gonna turn on the sync here and that'll kind of begin the process. So we'll go ahead and start our login. And in this case, we're using Okta as the IDP. We could certainly use others as well. So we'll put in the username again after it flips to Okta, uh, kind of acting like this is the first time this person has logged in on this personal device. We're going to allow some access to things in this case. So we'll um, have to get through two factor as well. You'll notice that. And so once we're through here, we will go ahead and turn on um, the sync. And so we'll notice that sync is on here. And so with sync on, that means that we will be getting policies as well. Although we will only get user policies here because this is not a managed device. So now that we have both of those available, we can go back over here and try some things out. So in this case, I've got a local file here with some data on it. If I were to try to print that on this managed device, even though there's sensitive information in there, it would check that information here in Chrome. And I could say, um, so I can say that I need to print it for Kevin and continue anyways. And so it checked and it'll allow me to print or save that, right? Um, in the case of this device, if I were to go over here and take a look at the same document that I may have, and if I were to try to print that document that I downloaded inside of here, um, I could try to print that and it's gonna check and it's gonna stop me from printing that. Now you'll notice that this message, you're not uh, allowed to print on an unmanaged device. So depending on what the scenario is, we can update this as well to make sure that we're giving that user hints about what's going on there. So that's a couple of examples of printing and user actions. Obviously there's other things we can do as well. So if we wanted to go to Gemini, for example, here, we're gonna block it on this, on this user profile here on this device. So if they were logged into their own uh, profile, they may be able to go there. Um, if we were here on the device that's signed in, it's automatically going to pass us through and we'll be able to do things like that. However, if we were to take some information like this and try to paste it in there, it's actually going to say, hey, why are you pasting information into Gemini? You're going to have to justify that, right? So depending on what the scenario is, we can block different things as well um, and kind of decide how we want to interact with those users. This would log and you know, obviously you would have alerts and information about this. So this allows the people to do their job, but they would know that it would be logged, for example, okay? Uh, so let's try something else here. Uh, let's quickly kind of go over here and let's say we need to get to Salesforce. On the managed device, you'll notice that the, the device connector here is actually connecting us over and we're automatically inside of Salesforce right away. No need for an extra password or anything like that. It just pulls us right in. So we're able to quickly uh, do that and use that device trust. If I were to go over here and uh, try to go to Salesforce here, you'll see that it's going to ask Okta and we're gonna find out that I'm not allowed to do that on this device based on permissions. So pretty quick to get that kind of information. Um, we can actually see what's going on with those uh, Chrome internal connectors as well right here. And so we're able to actually see um, uh, that we're connecting back to Okta and getting that information. So there's plenty of uh, ways to kind of track that down as well too. So that's a high level um, 
examples of kind of how these things work. Uh, we can certainly go into the actual admin console as well and take a look at some of these that we just triggered. All right, so if we go to the alert center, we will see that we have a DLP rule that was just triggered recently, right? Because web content was uploaded from a device or the Cameo uh, Gemini rule. Let's try that one. So we'll see some of the details of this rule here. We can see what happened, block a URL visit, there was alerts, so there are triggered actions. Um, and then we can see all the related alerts down here. We can investigate this alert as well, which is nice because what that does is it fills out the investigation tool with for us with relative relevant information and then we can expand that scope if we need to. So it's gonna fill in all this information for the investigation tool without us having to remember all those details write them down and we can see exactly what happened and we can kind of uh, dig into ex uh, you know the details and the triggered actions as well too so we can see those two triggered actions down here so just like the rest of your rules in workspace the same rule engine would be used to power cep as well as any context aware access rules you have here um, in the admin console so that is our demo for today. Really appreciate you guys taking a look. Um, if you wanna learn more about the Chrome browser and setting this up, there's a great section here in the admin console on the Chrome browser and Chrome OS management. Uh, details about how to do that. You can also reach out to us, chrome-enterprise at 66degrees.com or to me, Taylor, directly. Thanks everybody.